Hello everybody, welcome. I am Taisha, founder of Something for the People Ministry. And today I'm here with a quick word. Um, something that God would really want us to have an ear to, an ear to hear, okay? So before we get started, let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, I ask that you mute me, Father God. Speak your word to your children. Lord, we need you. We love you. We praise your holy name. Amen. All right, y'all. This word is going to be coming from Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. Once again, Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 through 48. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read that towards the back end. And also, I will be sitting it, well, leaving it in the description box as well, along with anything else that you need to contact me or reach out to me. Um, okay, you guys. This message right here is about why it's so important for us to pray for our enemies and i don't think um just not even just our enemies but people in general that could be like a threat to our family our livelihood um our area that we live in um our state like it's much bigger than what i think we imagine and god put in my spirit he kind of downloaded to me but it started from you know how god does with us it's like a he'll drop a piece off to you and then he'll give you a little bit at a time and then before you know it it's this one big picture so he was telling me talking to me about uh praying for enemies and certain people that i felt like was the enemy or resemble a uh, enemy begins to come to my mind and um as i was praying for these people i was like i wonder why i gotta pray for them but then god was letting me know that a lot of people you guys they don't pray to him. A lot of people don't have someone that's praying for them. So when we're asked to pray for certain people, whether it's a stranger, whether it's somebody that has been an issue to people in our family, whatever it is, it may be someone that we just don't want to have any dealings with. We really need to be praying for these people because when we pray for them, we invite God to come in and help them in their life, in their situation. We give God permission for them, we're just saying like, hey, God, we're interceding like Moses did for the Israelites when he when um, God brought them out of Egypt. We're interceding for these people. So when you're praying for your enemies, it's not really just praying for your enemies. You're praying for everyone. Um, pray for the street you live on. Pray for your neighbors. Um, pray for different people to be blessed. And let me tell you how it is. We're praying for different people. Everybody, for you, servants, prophets, and majority of you are prophets and prophetess, um, servants of God. You, As you notice that we don't always encounter people that are um, spiritual people or that are um, in Christ. Okay? But, and I know that sometimes we get kind of frustrated because we want to be around more people that are like us. And it's very rare. So, therefore, when you are around, you all, we all are intercessors. We all intercede for someone. Now, Jesus Christ is, he's, that's the main, that's our intercessor. That's who intercedes with us for us to get to God. But here on earth, as we serve, we serve and we try to we're trying to win souls, you guys. So I always remember this, you know, that everybody that you meet ain't going to be there yet. And it's not for us to get mad. We can't cast these people. I used to, once upon a time, if they, if a person wasn't where I feel like they should be at right now in 2021, I feel like they was never going to be there. And I would just condemn a lot of people and just say, oh, they'll never get it. But I had to remember and learn that God don't want anybody to perish. He would like for each and every, the worst person on the worst day of week, the robber, killer, thief, whatever you want to call it, he would like for them to repent and still go to heaven. So therefore, when we are around people, let's say we have neighbors that have just moved in, and uh, we may feel like we want to be around the perfect people. If they're not the perfect people, let's pray and ask God, let's invite God into their lives. Think about it like that. When you pray for somebody that's your enemy, you, 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 you view them. And you see, okay, they're not there yet. They don't handle things in a godly way. They don't handle things the way I would handle things as a, a, a follower of Christ, a follower of Jesus. So when you look at them and you notice that we're not to condemn them and to cast them away. We are to look at them and say, you know what, God? 
you know, I was once lost and then I found your marvelous light. So, Lord, let me pray for that person to find the same thing that I did. Let me pray for that person to get closer and draw a closer relationship with you. And with us praying for those things, then God can come in and, and, and change and work through that person and, you know, can bless them. But we have to first pray for the people that we don't want to pray for. We have to pray for things that we don't think we should be praying for. I found myself tonight praying for um, a, a county jail in my neighborhood. I found myself praying for the state of Alabama that I live in. I found myself praying for my entire street and not only my street, but that whole um area that I'm in, you know, that, um, the area that I'm in, in my city, I found myself praying for that city, you know, from neighbor to neighbor, just people that was surrounding me. I found myself with God leading me that he said, you need to be praying like this. The world is in so much trouble. So we all need to be praying beyond our wildest dreams of what we can imagine. If God put on you, God had me praying for states that I've never even been to. You know, I pray for stakes, I pray for jails and different things because we got people all around us in this world. This world is ran by Satan. So therefore, the average person on a regular day is going through something where the devil is using them. And a lot of people that you meet, if you notice, they have not came to Christ. It's very true. And what well, my bad. It's it's not as many, you know. I you know I got an open bites on my mouth. <laughs> but it's not as many. So God wants y'all to know that when he asks you to pray, pray. You know what I'm saying? We got to pray honest, genuine prayers to God to intercede for these people. Now, this came from, once again, Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 through 48. And it reads, Ye have heard that it have been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemy, bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his own son rise on the evil and on the and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward ye do? What reward have ye? Do not even the pub the publicans the same, <laughs> and if you salute, if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So therefore, for a lot of people that love to say, is nobody perfect but the Father. Um, yeah, nobody is perfect but the Father, but that doesn't mean we should not strive. As you read it again, that was um, Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to specify verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. That's what he requires of us. He would like for us to do what he would do. You know, we're little, to him, we're his children. He say, act as I would act, as, act in the way of your heavenly Father. You know, if I would pray for them and I would bless them, you should pray for them and you should bless them. So I just wanted to um, give that to you guys in another way and let y'all know that some people that we pray for you guys, they don't have, they don't pray. They don't have anybody that they even know. You know, they come from very bad backgrounds where it's probably witchcraft and a lot of like um, curses and generational curses. So therefore, we need to be breaking the curses off these people. We need to be uh, casting out demons. You know, even if you're not necessarily laying hands and saying, come out of you, pray that whatever that in any unclean spirits that they have within them are released from them and that God is their deliverer. You know, just invite God into people's life, you know, through you. You just, you know, just say, Lord, I'm such and such and I'm coming the same way Moses interceded for the Israelites. Lord, I want to intercede for these people and, and, and name the people, name what they're doing, name what you see that they need help in and let God come into their life. You know, you are giving God permission to come in and change those people because you can't change them. Only he can do it. But he said, you must first learn how to bring it to me. Okay, now, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.